Hello, my name is Ernest O'Boyle. I'm an Associate Professor of Management at the Kelly School of Business here at Indiana University. I will be teaching the Karma Short Course on Meta-Analysis. It's essentially a three-day seminar that is a condensed version of a full semester doctoral seminar that I've taught for the past several years. Uh, I am a big proponent of meta-analysis and systematic review. Most of my publications are meta-analyses or on the topic of meta-analysis. Uh, I also see meta at the core of a lot of ongoing movements right now that cut across disciplines, so things like evidence-based practices, open science, uh, transparency and reporting and conducting research. Uh, meta really is at the core of a lot of those movements. In terms of the approach we're going to take for this class, it's designed, it's a, it's a very practical class. It's designed to help everything from the idea formation to the analysis itself to the reporting of the results. Uh, we take a pretty balanced approach between the methodology and the actual statistics of it. Uh, what we're going to begin with is talking about what sort of questions meta-analyses are good at answering. I can show you some really well-conducted ones in your respective field. Uh, from then, we'll also talk about the search, which is such a key part of it, a uh, key part of meta-analysis where most of the time is actually spent is in the searching and the coding. And we'll talk about, you know, what happens when you run your initial search and you get 10,000 results or you get 10 results. So in other words, how to handle too many or too few hits. Uh, we'll talk about how to ensure that the coding is done uh, really well and really accurate. I will uh, help you also in ways track down certain types of research that traditionally get overlooked in a lot of meta-analyses. So this is a lot of the unpublished work that's out there, dissertations, conference proceedings. I can show you some good databases and resources to track down that research. Uh, we'll certainly talk about how to conduct the meta-analysis. In terms of software, it's not terribly complex. I mean, in terms of statistics, it's not terribly complex. Most of what we'll do is in Microsoft Excel. Uh, we will step into the R platform, so if you have worked with R, that's great. If you've never worked with R, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, I provide all the syntax files, all my slides, and all the code that you would need uh, to conduct it, even if you are new to the R program. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about interpreting results, so how to make sure, or what to do basically when the results are very consistent, or what to do when the results are all over the place. Uh, and we will cover some advanced topics. So we're gonna get into, uh, on the last day, we're gonna get into things like meta-regression and meta-ANOVA, meta-structural equation modeling. Uh, however, again, because you'll have those syntax files, I think even if you're not 100% familiar with those uh, sort of processes yet, uh, they will be readily apparent for you once you actually have all the materials in front of you. Um, I'm trying to think in terms of uh, who should take the class, anyone who would be con interested in conducting a meta-analysis. Uh, even if it's just kind of a hazy idea at this point, you know, bring it in, we'll be able to workshop it. It is not straight lecture by any stretch of it. Most of what we're going to be doing is hands-on. Um, you should have a passing understanding of statistics mean, standard deviation, correlations, that sort of stuff. But anything beyond that is it's great if you have it, but it's certainly not required for the class. So anyway, that's about a three-minute summary of a three-day course, and I hope to see you in class.